Hello everyone, my name is Ksenia and I'm an application specialist in BioVitrum company. Welcome on our YouTube channel where we discuss histological process, its basics, some theory and also some tricks and tips to make it easier. Today we will continue talking about special stains in histology. Many techniques available for differential demonstration of the connective tissues fall into the category of trichrome stain. This is a histological staining method which uses two or more acid dyes in a combination with a polyacid to differentially stain two basic materials in contrasting colors. The most common application is to stain muscle fibers in red and collagen fibers in green or blue. This is necessary since smooth muscle fibers may be difficult to differentiate from collagen. In addition, liver biopsies may have fine collagen fibers between the liver cells and the amount of collagen may be estimated based on the staining method. It helps in identifying increases in collagenous tissue, for example, fibrotic changes such as liver cirrhosis, and also to distinguish tumors arising from muscle cells and fibroblasts. The trichrome techniques employ two or more acid dyes. Normally, it would be expected that acid dyes would stain the same basic proteins, but if we apply them sequentially, the staining pattern may be manipulated by removing dye from the less intensely stained components with a polyacid. Usually, it is molybdophosphoric or tungstophosphoric acid. They are thought to behave as very large molecular weight dyes and displaced easily remove dye from the collagen. Masson's trichrome is the most commonly used method. Dr. Claude Pierre Masson was a French-born doctor in Quebec. He was considered one of the leading histopathologists of his time. He was born in Dijon and he studied medicine at the University of Paris and Pasteur Institute. Originally, he planned a career in clinical medicine, but after suffering poor health, he decided to change his area of interest to biology. He was the first to describe neurocrine secretion, and his work led to the development of modern neuroendocrinology. He was also known for his research into brain tumors. In 1927, he became the chair of pathology department at the University of Montreal. He died at the age of 79. Masson was named to the Canadian Medical Hall of Fame in 1997. There are several modifications of Masson's trichrome. If you follow the protocol recommended by the manufacturer, usually you will be able to achieve good results of staining. But you can also modificate it depending on the type of tissue, its reaction to dye, density, accessibility, water pH and other conditions in your laboratory. On the first step, vigorous hematoxylin can be used. It should be prepared right before staining as a mixture of solutions A and B. It stains nuclei. Picric acid and acid fuchsin are used to overstain all components. Solution of phosphomolybdic acid is a polyacid and it is used to remove red dye from collagen and some other components by displacement. A second acid dye in turn displaces the polyacid resulting in collagen stained in contrasting color to the initial dye. Methyl blue, water blue or aniline blue can be used. As a result, nuclei will be stained in black color, keratin, cytoplasm and muscles in red, collagen in blue and erythrocytes yellow. Masson's trichrome staining is widely used to study muscular, cardiac, hepatic and kidney pathologies, for example, muscular dystrophy, infarct, cirrhosis or glomerular fibrosis. It can be also used to detect and analyze tumors in hepatic and kidney biopsies. In one of our next videos, we will show you the staining process and the results of Masson trichrome. If this video was useful for you, press like. If you have any questions or something to add to this topic, write in comments. Subscribe not to miss our new videos. Thank you. See you soon.